We really met formally for the first time in our sophomore chemistry class. We really started talking and getting to know each other. And then uh, near the end of our sophomore year of high school, uh, I asked her out. He asked me out on a note in, um, he passed me a note in the hallway. The note basically said, um, like, will you go out with me, <laughs> yes or no? It said, read alone. <laughs> so I get this note and I go into my class and I, I, I could not wait to read it alone. One of our mutual friends, um, she actually called me while they were at a party and said, hey, Katie wants to date you. Uh, she really likes you. She thinks you're uh, really interesting. So I opened it up and I was just kind of hiding it under my desk and it said, uh, I heard that you liked me. I like you too. Will you go out with me? <laughs> and so I had found him in the hallway later and I'd, I told him yes. That's how we started dating. Once I told him, he told everybody in his English class and everyone in the English class, like you could hear people cheering from the hallway because they were waiting for us to get together. And up to now, we've been going steady, I guess. We um, had organized our first date, and he could drive, so he picked me up, and uh, he took me out, and we saw a Kung Fu Panda of all movies to see on your first date. We went to uh, Dairy Queen down in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. At the time, I was a vegetarian, and so he took me to ice, get ice cream, and he looked at me and he goes, can you eat dairy? And I said, ice cream is dairy? Joking with him, and his, his face, just like his jaw dropped on the ground, and he thought he had done something terrible, and he was ruining his first date. And I said, I'm just kidding. And we walked around, along the uh, river walk, along the Ohio River. With the big blue clocks, and just kind of walked and talked. Just along the river. It's just a short little, like, probably half mile walk. Um, got to know each other and spend some time together, and then he, he took me home, so. After that, she, uh, I guess she, liked me enough to stick around, so. It was excellent, I think. After high school, when we really, it wasn't easy to stay in a relationship. We didn't like see each other every single day anymore, and we had to make time for our relationship. People always talk about, um, how did you know you, you loved him? When was the first day you found out that you loved him? We you know, worked on it, we, called, we talked to each other pretty much every day. I don't think that I ever had that first day. It was very much like growing a friendship, only like I was growing a love. It was about you know, midway through college when we started to go, you know, well, what happens after college? We had talked about it a little bit before, um, th just getting engaged. Because we both loved each other a lot at that point, and we knew it. I, I didn't know, I didn't know that he was going to propose. I went and talked to my parents about it, and I talked to her parents about it, and um, I actually got my grandmother's engagement ring from like 1945. It was the day of my sister's graduation, and so there was, it was chaotic, and after the graduation, John was like, I just want to take you out, and we're going to go on a date. And we went, we just did basically an exact replica of our first date. He's just talking to me and he's, he's um, you know, the, a little awkward the way that John is awkward. It's adorable. I had her, her family and my family, immediate families, um, be sitting there just waiting. And so when we walked around some statues. And so there were a crowd of people taking photos and their lights were flashing. And I was like, John, I don't think we can go any further. There's this photography class ahead of us. She's like, oh my gosh, there's people taking pictures of us, maybe we should leave, and then she realized that it was her family. And all my family was there, they were the ones that were taking pictures. And when she turned around and talked to me about it, I had the ring out and was proposing. He got down on one knee and um, he asked me to marry him uh, with his, his grandmother's ring, which is beautiful. I think she was pretty surprised and I tried to keep it, I, I feel like I kept it a pretty good secret from her. It was, it was perfect, yeah. 
I think they make a cute couple. Katie and John are a great couple. They balance each other out. I, we love them both. Um, John's been around for years. I think they'll do awesome. They just mesh really well. Like they just are perfect for each other. I think I uh, felt that way many years ago, perhaps when I saw them dressed up to go to one of those first snowball dances over there at the high school. He's just, he's been part of the family. They went to high school together. All the way through college. He's just, he's always been here. Well, I think they're like six years or so into it now at this point. It's probably time to get married. Welcome to the family. It's, it'll be nice to have another girl in the family. <laughs> it'll be good <laughs> instead of all these guys. But you guys are going to be okay. You've got your love. You've got your faith. He's a fine young man, but he's got a set of you know moral values, and he's got you know <clears throat> integrity to him, which you can't find that hardly. I will be praying. There you like, go. Like my mom did, I will right. be praying that they keep, stay together. Praying's good. <laughs> I think she thinks a lot about how his parents have been married for such a long time. And um, she definitely wants that. Well, they both have a strong faith. Um, they have a very strong love. They've been through so much together. So I just wanted to take good care of her and make her happy. That's the most important thing to me. Thank you. We are here today to witness a miracle. We're here today to witness the mystery of love, the beginning of family, the beginning of life, and so in the presence of the church, I ask the two of you to state your intentions. Catherine and John, have you come here freely without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? We have. Will you love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? We will. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? We will. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, Please face each other. Join your right hands. No. Yeah. <laughs> and declare your consent before God and his church. I, John. I, John. Take you, Catherine. Take you, Catherine. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you all the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Catherine. I, Catherine. Take you, John. Take you, John. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. John and Catherine, you have declared your consent to the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. What God has joined, men must not divide. Amen. And may Almighty God bless these rings in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Catherine, take this ring. Catherine, take this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And fidelity. And fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. John, take this ring. John, take this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And fidelity. And fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And in the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God, with his word of blessing, unite your hearts in never ending, in a never ending bond of pure love. May your children bring you happiness, and may your generous love for them be returned to you many times over. May the peace of Christ live always in your hearts and in your home. May you have true friends to stand by you, both in joy and in sorrow. May you be ready and willing to help and comfort those who come to you in need. And may the blessings promised by God be upon you today and always. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. It is now my great privilege and honor to introduce to all of you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. John Bischoff. You got it? Get to genuflect. Got it? for Katie and John, and for God's blessing on this meal we're about to share. It was no surprise when she came to me six years ago in the band room after guard and told me there was a really cute percussionist. <laughs> um, so I walked in, and never in a million years would I have imagined that this really tall, lanky swimmer would one day become my brother-in-law. But I am so glad that he has. John, you have saw Katie through many, many ups and downs. And for that, being her very best friend, I am forever grateful. Um, for both of you, I'd like to wish you um, internal love and happiness forever. May your good days always overshadow your bad, and you always stay faithful and true to one another. And I love you both very much. Katie has been in our family for many years. You know, you said it was six years, and I'm. She's always been there, going out to eat with us. She always. They always used to take me on dates and. <laughs> I know they didn't like it, but I always love to go. Uh, so I'm very happy to uh, officially uh, invite you into our family. I'm just very happy for you too. I know you guys are so happy, and I love you both. And uh, I wish you guys a long, health, healthy, uh, fruitful life as you start a new family. <laughs> John, Katie, uh, I know you guys since freshman year. John, we started out started out at UNE together, and you got a you got a good woman, and I wish you both the best for the rest of your life. Katie and John, love you guys both. I just want to tell them uh, it's been great knowing them for the past four or five years. Um, I'm really glad that they're finally getting married, and I think that they're perfect for each other. They've been a big influence in my relationship with Kara, and 
I really thank them for everything that they've taught me as a couple, and it's been great knowing them. I would like to wish you guys a happy life and a great family and have some fun. I just want to tell you that I love you guys both very, very much. Um, I'm so happy that you guys found each other and that you're together, and I wish you guys many, many, many years of happiness. We are able to work out problems really well. We're really able to talk things through. We're able to sit down and talk about them and figure out our differences. We don't hold grudges. I think our ability to recognize that we're going to change and that we're going to have struggles and to be open and to communicate with one another um, and to recognize that um, uh, above everything else is, is our relationship together. Um, I think that's what that's what'll hold us together. We try to spend at least a little bit of every day just um, that we're together anyway. Uh, a little time just to us, not doing anything but just working on our relationship and being working on just being together.